Hello YouTube, this is Cobalt Forever, bringing you an updated video on my picket lists and how picket lists work in Cobalt, why you should edit them, how to do some basic editing. I'm not going to go too in depth with it, but I will show a couple of different things that I think will be very, very useful. Where you can download these picket files, how to create and edit one, of course. Uh, like I said, just very basically. And then finally, how to edit your character configuration file to now use that new picket list so that the character that you want to use that picket list can do so. So let's start off with explaining what is a picket list and why it is your responsibility to edit it according to your desires or needs. A picket list is the exact list of items that your bot will pick up. If an item is not located inside of your picket list, your bot will not pick it up. Even more complicated, and to even further this point, you also need to tell it which items to pick up specifically, but also what type of stats you wish this item to have in order to pick it up. Do you want 141 defense Shaco, or do you want a 98 defense Shaco, or do you want all Shacos? Again, I'll go into some of this in detail a little bit later. First, I wanted to just go ahead and show you where to get the picket list from. Link down in the description below so you can take a look at this. The perfection picket is the one I'm going to click on, and we're going to copy this entire picket list into a new text file. We're going to then change the file extension, and then we're going to edit it a little bit. And then finally, we're going to tell our character to actually use this new picket list. So first thing we want to do is copy the entire list down here from the raw paste data. And then we're going to close out of our internet browser. We're going to bring over our picket list as soon as I can find it here. Here we go. This is our picket list that we currently have in our Cobot folder. So in order to find our picket list in our Cobot folder, we need to go to Cobot, D2BS, Cobot once again, and then finally to picket. As you can see, we have existing files already in here, and we do not see the file extensions. This is very important because not only do we need to create a new file, but we need to be able to change the file extension to an extension that Colbot can actually read. So the first thing we're going to want to do, and this is for Windows 10 only, sorry if you're on an older Windows, you'll have to figure out how to turn on file extensions. You go to the View tab and then click on File Name Extensions. And once you've done this, you will now see the file extension names. Next, we want to create a new text file. And we're going to name it to Perfection, or you could name it to whatever you wish. I prefer to keep the names that are on the paste bin myself. Then after the dot or the period, we're going to put in IP, because this is the type of file our pickets need to be in. This is the type of file extension it needs to have. You are going to get this rename Confirmation, you're going to hit yes, and now it is the proper file extension. After this, we can open it up in Notepad++ or Sublime Text, whatever it is that you're using. And it's just a blank canvas. We're going to copy and paste in our picket list. And as you can see, we now have the entire list already on here, and it's ready to go. Now, I briefly want to touch on how to edit a picket list. Now, again, this is not going to be in depth. This is going to be a basic overview, but I really do want to show how to do this so that you can at least have a basic editing knowledge of picket lists. So again, we're going to use the Shaco example because I already mentioned that once before. On line five, we can actually see that there's a Shaco listed. But your bot, if you use this picket list as it currently stands, will never pick up any Shaco of any defense ever. How do we change that? Well, we need to delete these two slashes here at the front of where it says name. Any item that you do not wish your bot to pick up should have slashes in front of it. I don't recommend deleting the entire line. You can just simply put slashes in front of it, and that way if you change your mind in the future, all you have to do is just delete the slashes, and now your bot will pick up those items. Okay, so let's briefly go over what some of the details inside of this mean. Shaco, quality, unique. Defense, 141. What this is telling you is the bot is only going to pick up a Shaco that has 141 defense or more. So that means that currently, if you leave this unedited, it will only pick up perfect 101 or 141, excuse me, defense Shacos. 
If you want the bot to pick up all Shacos, let's say that this is the beginning of ladder, for example, you could change this number to, say, 90. All unique Shacos in the game will have a defense higher than 90. That means that this will pick up every single Shaco it finds. Let's say you only want to pick up Shacos with defense 130 and higher. You just change it to 130. And that's basically how we're going to do this. Now, I, I understand that this is maybe a little confusing, but you do have to have some understanding of the game in order to edit pick a file. So it does get a little complicated. So you kind of have to understand how to read this. So once again, we're talking about Shacos. The quality is unique and the defense is right here. All right, let's take a look at another line. Let's I believe this is the Crown of Thieves right here on line 10. This is a grand crown. It is a unique grand crown and it has these attributes that can be changed. So the Crown of Thieves has three attributes that roll when you identify it. Enhanced defense, life leech, and gold find. So the first one is set to 200, the second is set to 12, and the third one is set to 100. I do believe this is a perfect Crown of Thieves. But let's say we didn't mind if it was perfect. Let's say all we care about is the gold find percentage. We don't care what life leech it is. Let's change the life leech to, let's say 10. And let's change the enhanced defense down to 180. Crown of Thieves, I believe it's called, to 180 enhanced defense, life leech of 10, and an item find or an item gold bonus of 100. So basically you're just lowering the attributes to what it is that you would like if they're too high. If you want perfect items or if you want items that are already very good, you don't necessarily need to edit these. This is just an example for those who want to lower these stats a little bit so that you don't have to find everything that's perfect, especially at the beginning of ladder. That's going to be very, very useful and very, very helpful. So that's about all the detail I'm going to go into with editing the picket list. I want to try to keep this video down in length as much as I can, and I don't want it to get too much longer than it already is. So when you're done, make sure that you hit File and Save or Control S if you're using Notepad++. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to tell each character that we want to use this picket list in our character configuration file for that specific character. So here's just a random example of that. Here's a random care config file. This is one of the base ones, but you would want to edit the one that has the specific name in which you want to edit. If you jump down to lines 284 and 285, you will see what is currently there. So these are the default picket lists for Colbot. Now there's one of two things you could do here. You could delete the entire line and just put in perfection right here. And that would do it for you. Or let's say if you wanted to use two different picket lists, you could also do that. So you don't have to do what I just did where I just deleted a bunch of stuff. Let's say that you just want to, let's say you like the Colton picket and you also like the LLD picket and you're going to edit these. You can use two at the same time, but there is one thing you need to keep in mind. You don't want to have items that are the same in each of the picket files. Make sure that if you're using two different picket files that you don't have overlapping items. So don't put Shaco in your Colton.NIP and don't put Shaco in your LLD.NIP as well. Don't put two of the same items in both of the picket lists. It causes conflicts. And then once you're done, you just hit File and Save, same thing as before, and then you're ready to go. And that's basically the kind of the intro to picket lists, why you want them, why you should edit them, where you can get some free ones, of course, and how to create one and all of that good stuff. If this helped, guys, please consider liking and subscribing. It costs you absolutely nothing, and I really do appreciate it. Please stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.